As COVID-19 continues to ravage economies, the government of Uganda seems determined to follow the age-old adage of when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Various interventions like the Scaling Uganda project that existed prior to COVID-19 but wasn't welcomed by the public have been upped after realizing that white-collar jobs suffered adversely from the effects of COVID-19. Then numerous training opportunities, the numerous training opportunities, SYB. Have you come with SYB? SYB is start your business. Yes, your employees here, but at a, at a, at a, at a, at a certain stage, you will be required to start your own enterprise. Why not? So we have SYB, start your business. IYB, improve your business. These are modules. Then entrepreneurship and marketing. So when over the last three months, a skills training project has been in beautification and hairdressing and was an initiative private sector foundation of Uganda in collaboration with Salon Sparkles in Kampala. We just concluded a training, a training for our employees and it was targeting at improving their skills levels and synchronizing their service level to our customers. We thank PSFU, which funded us, and DIT, which assessed their appropriateness. And we know that going forward, this skill will be useful to them while they are with us, while they are employed elsewhere, and while they start their own businesses in the future. It was a fully certified process by the Directorate of Industrial Training, whose acting director, Patrick Biakatonda, encourages youth to be ethical and continue training for better skills growth for employability. My appeal is for them to have ethics because now they belong, they belong to a profession, so they should emphasize ethics. They should not take away things from the saloon and the, whatever the combs and the rest. Now they should be professional and they should be a professional. Once they are professional, then they go. The latest batch of beneficiaries had 130 people, mainly women, but inclusive of men.